Prizes from the Charles Schulz Museum. Surprise number one. Charles Schulz was a social butterfly. Although awkwardness was his stock in trade, there was a side to him that was very smooth. He was not known for the red carpet, but he knew nearly everyone and kept in touch with old friends. Here's something he drew in 1943. The sender and receiver of this letter aren't anyone in the Schulz family. He was doing a favor for a friend. Most of the museum displays appear to be on loan from other people. They are the ones Schulz originally gave things to. He was friends with other cartoonists. This one, inscribed to Milt Caniff, seems about as unlikely as it gets, but there's more. When Christo made his running fence, it ran through the area where Schulz lived. They hit it off, and Christo gave Schulz this wrapped doghouse. Schulz returned the favor by drawing this strip. The second surprise is that the museum shows some of Schulz's family life. This didn't go as well as he had wanted it to. Consequently, he never said much about it. His biographer made the family mad, which means that less is getting out. These murals are from their family homes in Minnesota and Colorado. Subsequent owners left them up. In this one, in the lower right, you can see the inscription to the new owners. The walls were cut out of the houses and brought to the museum. On this last one, you can even see the electrical outlet. It's below the tiger and to the left of the door. Finally, the third and last surprise is that the exhibits are evolving. Here is the recreation of his office. I got the feeling that I was on hallowed ground until I saw this one. The table is the same, but the carpet and some other things are different. I suppose his office changed over the years, but it was hard seeing two of them. Have you been to the Charles Schulz Museum? What surprised you? Let us know in the comments.